Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view your connection? How do they view you? What do they think about you? What do they wish they could tell you? And what are their intentions at this time? We're gonna look at all of that today. And let's jump right into the reading. For Cancer, spirits, angels, guides. What does Cancer need to know? regarding love okay what's going on what can cancer expect regarding love all right let's see so let's see what we get for you one more shuffle for cancer what do they need to know regarding love relationships okay what can you expect five of wands reverse Nine of Swords reverse, okay. I feel like the fight is over. Something's done. Um, maybe uh, there's no longer any conflict or at least no longer any anxiety over the conflict. Any past energies or in, uh, insight onto what's happening here for you. Death reverse, Scorpio energy, Devil reverse, Capricorn energy. So I do feel like something completely ended here an attachment perhaps now i know that death reverse is typically not a card about things ending um so i i almost get the sense that this is not telling me that there's a delayed ending or that something didn't end it's almost i'm getting the energy of something that took a long time to end or it took a long time to change transform we'll see if i'm right about that when i clarify how are your uh, energies at this time? Nine of Cups reverse, King of Wands reverse. Okay, so I feel like you're not feeling the best. You could be dealing with someone who is this King of Wands reverse, fire sign perhaps. Typically a King of Wands reverse, they um, say one thing and do another. They jump into things without thinking. They tend to make mistakes very impulsive, very rash. Um, some of them have a big ego. And then the Nine of Cups reverse. So I feel like there's someone here, and I don't know if this is you, feel free to flip it, but whatever, these two energies together are telling me that someone is not getting what they want and they're not happy about it. Or there could be this King of Wands reverse sabotaging someone's wish We'll see what that's about. What about the other person? This could be the person you've been dealing with in the past, or currently dealing with right now, or could be dealing with in the future. The moon reverse, Pisces energy, and the page of swords reverse. I mean, these two together, there's, there's no other way to really interpret them. This is deception that's come to light. It could also be some sort of secret, something that hasn't been expressed or kept hidden is no longer hidden. And it's in your person's energy. So I wonder if they're the ones expressing themselves, revealing something or being caught in a lie. We'll see what that's all about. And then in what you need to know that you might not know, temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy and the lovers reverse. So yeah, there's definitely something happening here within a partnership, within love, that is not in balance, not in harmony, possibly a separation, or just not, it's taking forever to come together. Gemini energy with the lovers. And where is all of this headed in the future? Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this isn't so bad. A reunion of some sort coming together, long-term success, stability with the Ten of Pentacles. Sometimes this can mean a wedding. These two cards together, I think of like celebrating at a reception. <laughs> so, okay. And why is all of this happening? What's the overall energy for the reading? The bottom of the deck. Four of Pentacles. So it's going to be somebody holding back or holding on to something. I have a feeling it's holding back because the Queen of Swords is reversed. I feel like someone has... Oops, I just touched the mic. Sorry about that. <laughs> um... I feel like someone's been holding back some some information and I don't know if that's like for a good reason or a bad reason you know 
I just feel like someone has kept something to themselves. So let's see. We get some clarity, some insight for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Ah. What does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know? Okay. Four of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck when I looked at this little deck. So I do feel like this is probably the overall theme of this reading. So let's see what this is about. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? What can you tell us, Spirit, about the Four of Pentacles? What do you, what do you tell us? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. What's this Four of Pentacles about? This star. Of course, I moved all my cards. Hmm. Eight of Wands. It's almost like someone wants to take some sort of action or communicate in order to uh, heal something or as a something that they want to do here to, yeah. Two of Swords, the Devil, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody doing possibly damage control or coming in to, um, I don't know, save something. I don't feel like it's just to heal something. It's like saving something. Oh, I don't know why the Two of Swords is here. It could be that someone's been blocked or has felt like they haven't been able to decide what to do here. They could have been stuck because I have the Devil, Two of Swords. Someone could have been already married because the King of Pentacles to me as a reader tends to already be um, in a commitment. They are providers. Sometimes they have children. There's something with a watch. I'm sorry. I just keep getting that message. This person could be wearing a nice watch, likes nice watches, Apple watch, something like that. That was really random, but <laughs> okay. Tell me about the eight of wands. Tell me about the eight of wands. What's this eight of wands about? Three of pentacles. So yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is someone that's trying to fix something related to a partnership. And I wonder why this is, you know, if you're dealing with a person, Cancer, this could also be you wanting to heal something, fix something. It's like they want to work together to build something again, to, to heal something again. Um, which is a bit odd to me because they're holding back or holding on to something. Their hands are tied here with the Four of Pentacles. So if, for example, they're trying to give you something, their hands are not, you know, they don't have available hands for that, if that makes sense. We'll see if this makes more sense when I keep going around here clarifying. So let's look at what you can expect. Five of Wands reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed. These two energies together are very positive, in my opinion. So we'll see um, if I'm right about that when I clarify. Tell me about the Five of Wands reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed with the Five of Wands reversed? Nine of Cups. Why is the Five of Swords? Nope, I knew I was going to mix those up. The Five of Wands reversed with the Nine of Swords reversed. What can you tell us about these energies? Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like someone's going after what they want here. After the fight is over or after something has been resolved or... Can I get one more? For the 10 of... What, what am I saying? For the five... I did this with... Uh, Sagittarius as well. I could not get the words out yesterday. 
Tell me about the Five of Wands reverse and the Nine of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Wands reverse and the Nine of Swords reverse? Nine of Wands. Okay. The Empress. So I feel like, um, okay. This could be a situation. Yeah, Knight of Swords, the Chariot. There you are, Cancer. This could be a situation where there was some sort of hiccup in this connection in the past. Could be recent past, could be distant past. Some sort of hiccup happened. The fight was over or someone got over something, right? Something that was difficult. I feel like there's still like lingering um, trust issues or someone here is just not giving up um, if that is the case. So for example, I feel like this is somebody who's coming in to get something that they desire and they're doing it through communication um, telling you some sort of truth, some sort of quick message. This could be a text, a call. And they're doing it because they want something, but they're meeting this Nine of Wands. It's kind of like a like a barrier or a hurdle they have to overcome. Whether this is like a barrier or, or, or well, I can't even talk. This could be a barrier or hurdle in terms of like how you feel or like an actual obstacle. You know, take it how it resonates. Basically, what I'm seeing is this Nine of Wands is not going to have an easy go of getting what they want. What does this Knight of Wands want? What does the Knight of Wands want? What do they want, Spirit? What do they want? Six of Swords. Wow, and the Six of Cups. It's almost like they want to go back to the past. They want to turn everything around and return to the past where they want to go to their soulmate or who, you know, who they have good memories with. This person could be like, okay, I heard Ubering <laughs> or doing like coming to you, driving to your house or catching a ride to your house or to your place of work or something like that. Like I'm picturing someone actually visiting you. Okay, tell me about death reverse with the devil reverse. That's way too many. Tell me about the death card reverse with the devil reverse. This is kind of what's influencing what you can expect. So it could be recent past energies or just insight. Now let's see if I'm right about my guesses when I first put down these energies. Tell me about death reverse and the devil reverse. Although now I'm thinking someone doesn't want this to end if they're coming back. Tell me about death reverse and the devil reverse. Eight of pentacles and the seven of cups. Working hard. Finding the best option or making a choice here. Let's see. Tell me more about the death card reverse and the devil reverse. Why are these energies here? Ace of Wands. I want one more. Okay. Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands. Interesting. Death reverse, devil reverse, and I have an Ace of Wands here. So I feel like this is someone that's working towards a new beginning after what I feel is some sort of ending. And I know that's not what that card means, but that's just that's just what I'm picking up. This is tied to what has already happened. Five of Wands is reversed here on the board. So I feel like this is over. And it's like someone's trying to still get back to what they want. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. King of Swords. Somebody wants to talk, Cancer. They want to talk possibly about what happened. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Timing here could be an, um, a factor. Like someone waiting a long time, divine timing, waiting for the right time. Ten of Wands for me as a reader is a card that also 
talks a little bit about time because these wands have been collected over time. Little by little, you keep collecting these 10 wands. You've been on a long journey. You're almost at the finish line, ready to drop these wands and move on. So I feel like the, this is something to do with time. So maybe a long time has passed or they're waiting for the right time. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but. <laughs> so yeah, this person definitely wants to talk, which I find fascinating because if it's this other person, they probably are telling you something that you don't know. So let's see, let's get some insight into the energies between you and this other person. All right, Spirit, tell us about the energies between Cancer and this other person. Hang on one second. Tell us about the energies between Cancer and this other person. The energies between Cancer and this other person. Tell me about Cancer's energies. Cancer's energy in this connection. Far apart. Distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. Okay, can I get one more for Cancer? I get one more for Cancer. Coming together. Reunion, destiny, meeting. Destiny has brought you together. Yeah, okay, so maybe this is a situation where you've been far apart or away from the person you want to be with. Maybe there was a separation in the past, distant past. This could even be a past life situation. Something that happened in, the, in your past life, a past life connection that maybe was severed. Bottom of the deck is patiently waiting. So some of you could be waiting for this to come in for you. Tell me about the person Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Victory lap. So they want success. They want to be um, victors here. What else do we need to know about this person? Restoring balance and judgment call. So I do feel like this person is wanting to try again. Soulmate here, mirrored souls at the bottom of the deck. And right behind that, divine timing. So this could definitely be a divinely guided connection. Now, this could also be that someone's coming in now that something is over for you. Um, but I feel like this for a lot of you is some sort of um, reconnection coming together again. And I feel like, I think this King of Wands reverse and Nine of Cups, I need to know what this is about. It's almost like what's coming in is a Nine of Cups, or this is what someone wants. But I feel like in your mind, you haven't gotten what you want. What What's this Nine of Cups? reverse about what's this nine of cups reverse about yeah nine of swords so i feel like you've been worried that you're not never going to get what you want here or that your wish will never be granted cancer yeah ten of wands and the wheel of fortune so you've been waiting for this okay tell me about the king of wands reverse why is the king of wands reverse five of swords so i feel like you in your mind you probably can't trust this person or maybe it's hard for you to trust them, or you feel like maybe they've kept something from you. Yeah, seven of swords, five of swords. You, you, in your mind, they haven't done something, or they lied to you, or played with you here. Yeah. Um, you think about this a lot. What's happened? I think this person must have screwed up somewhere along the line, like really screwed up and made it hard for you to trust them. But I think deep down, you're still waiting for them, still hoping that there is a chance. So why is the moon reversed with the page of swords reverse? Why is the moon reversed with the page of swords reverse? 
Page of Swords, okay. Why is the moon reverse with the Page of Swords reverse? Ace of Cups, Four of Swords. So I feel like this person wants to tell you how they feel. I think they might be opening up the lines of communication after some time because I have the Four of Swords here. Oh, Hangman. So I feel like this person, they haven't acted for a while. I don't know if they've been in another situation. Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Maybe they weren't ready for commitment. Maybe they weren't ready for something stable. Um, I think this person has a lot of fears. Maybe they've been stuck with the hangman. What's this hangman about? What's this hangman about? Why is the hangman here? Yeah, five of wands. So there's been conflict here in your person's side that has kept them kind of not moving, not taking action. I think they're fighting for something right now or needing to fight. Yeah, to have their queen of cups. They need to fight for you. And that would mean going a different direction than the one they are right now. I'm also picking up that this person, after whatever happened between you, um, I think they still think about it too. And maybe they wish that things could have happened differently or wish for something different. And I think they might tell you this with the Page of Swords. I think it's gonna be a very emotional conversation between you and this person. So let's look at what you need to know here with Temperance Reverse and the Lover's Reverse. Tell me about Temperance Reverse and the Lover's Reverse. What do we need to know about Temperance Reverse and the Lover's Reverse? Wow, Three of Swords. Tell me about the Temperance card Reverse and the Lover's Reverse. This is what you, what you need to know what's going on behind the scenes. Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups. So I think what you need to know is someone, um, you, someone else, I think both of you ha were really hurt by what happened, by this divide between you. Um, I feel like this is someone, yeah, they still think about what could be, even after what has ended or, or what happened. Because the Ten of Swords could also be a betrayal. I think that someone's still hoping for a new beginning in this connection. The Fool, the Lovers, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like what's happening in the near future here is a reconnection coming together again. And you've, this has been an ongoing theme for Cancer. Uh, if you check your playlist, there's a lot of readings in there in the last couple months about this topic. Has this person still not done something? Why are we still talking about this Cancer, right? I feel like you've been waiting forever and maybe you're tired of waiting. <laughs> I mean, who, I, I almost feel like Geminis and Cancers have just been waiting for a lifetime. Okay, tell me about the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles. Judgment. Yeah. Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is where all of this is headed is towards some sort of like meeting up. Death, High Priestess, Strength. Wow, look at all this Major Arcana. Scorpio energy, Leo energy. I wonder why death is here again. Two of cups, six of cups, and the higher font after that, Taurus energy. I feel like this is the past, this is the future kind of thing. Like all of this has led to this situation. It's like there's some sort of change or transformation that someone's possibly going through that might be giving them courage here with strength. This could be someone's intuition. 
wonder why death is here. It's with the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. 